In the previous video, we have seen unsigned multiplication algorithm. Now we are going to see booth algorithm, which is mainly for signed uh, multiplication. So when you have sign, you, have, you will be considering both positive and negative number. So already uh, we have seen, see when there is a minus, minus, you are multiplying, minus, minus will be having the answer positive. When you have both plus also, and do multiplication, you have positive answer. Whereas when, when one number is negative and another number is positive, you will be having a, the answer will be a negative. So this is the basic rule of multiplication that applies here also. Okay, so now we'll see our Booth's algorithm uh, for uh, negative, when, when the one of the value is a negative number. So Q equal to multiplier. Here we keep the registers as such. Uh, Q uh, one is for the variable Q or you can say Q register for keeping the multiplier and M is the multiplicand. So if you have two values like this, so for example, seven into three means seven is the multiplicand and three is the multiplier. So the seven you will keep in M and three you will keep in, uh, there is three you will keep in Q. So, and this is the multiplier and this is the multiplicand. So multiplicand, uh, multiplier number of times you will add. Okay, if it is seven, seven you will add three times. Okay, so then another register we use is MA, temporary register to hold the intermediate product. So for example, first you will add seven and seven, then you have 14, and then this will be stored in A. Then with this value only, next to seven will be added, and you will get the answer. So for that intermediate result, we, we keep A. Then another register, uh, one bit register, Q minus one. This I'll tell you when I'm explaining the algorithm. And it is used to used in as a right to the right of the Q register. So for example, if uh, you have the carry, and then if you have A register, and then you have Q register, then you will be having one more one bit register that is q minus one after here it is q zero okay q zero to q n whereas here it is called this we call it as q minus one as we are considering after this uh, after this least significant bit this one bit is called q minus one bit okay and it is used to the right side here also we are going to shift the bit just like in our previous multiplication algorithm we have shifted right okay that is logical shift but here we are going to follow the arithmetic shift. So we'll see what is arithmetic shift. Already um, while taking the digital, I have explained the arithmetic logic shift and just uh, logical shift, all those things we have seen. Anyway, while explaining, I'll, I'll explain them again. Now, based on the Q and Q minus, based on this value and this value, you'll be taking some decisions. Based on the value of Q naught and Q minus one. So here, if both are one or both are zero, this is one one or this is zero zero, it means uh, no, uh, just shifting arithmetic right shift is done. Then when Q, this is one and this is zero, then we have to do A minus M. That is, uh, whatever may be in the, temporary register, temporary, the result that can be subtracted, that uh, the, from the multi can has to be subtracted from this A. Then if this is zero and this is one, then you have to do an A plus M. So these are all the conditions which you have to consider. Now we'll see the Booth algorithm, whatever I have said in the previous slide, that's what given here. Initially, A is made zero. That is, this temporary register is made zero. And then Q1, Q, uh, that is Q minus one, this bit. You have seen that extra uh, uh, one bit register. That is made zero. And then multiplicate. In the M register, you place the multiplicate. Q register, place the multiplier. 
and we have one more uh, variable called count where the number of bits the multiplier will be placed okay so if it is five the multiplier has five bits then that value five is placed in count and on each uh, right shift uh, the count will be decremented and when it becomes zero it has to be stopped okay so now the first step we check q not q minus one if it is equal to zero one r one zero r one one and zero zero if it is one one or zero zero you just do an arithmetic shift right how you can do you have to do language a so for example uh, as we have seen this is the carry bit and this is the a bit a register and this is q mains and here we have one more uh, one bit called q minus one now you do an arithmetic shift is from this uh, last bit zero bit is shifted this and one bit you shifted to zero this is shifted this portion and so on and a this is a register here whatever is placed it is zero to portion that is shifted here as the most significant bit and this most significant bit is moved to the next portion as well as it will be kept in the same portion also. So for example, that is what arithmetic right shift. See for, for example, here, LSB. And that arithmetic uh, shift right is applied for this register alone, not for this. Because here, the least significant bit of A is moved as most significant bit, whereas here, or the actual arithmetic right shift for this only takes place. That is, see here, if this is the bits in an register A, before arithmetic right shift, it will be like this. Now you do an arithmetic right shift. Now what happens? You shift one, one bit towards right. And this bit is last. But here what we do, this bit, you move to this, okay, whereas here, when you move this, this will go here as well as for MSB also. This is the arithmetic right shift. Okay. So now with this in mind, we have to treat the data in the most significant bit of A. Now, if it is 0, 1, if you're not in the if it is 0, 1, then you do a A plus N, or else A minus N. But in all the cases, in all the four cases, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 0, 0, uh, in 1, 0, you do this, 0, 1, you do this, and 1, 1, 0, 0, you do this. So here also you do, and after doing this, you do an arithmetic shift right. Okay, so how you do the together, you do the, uh, sorry, A, this is not considered, A, Q, and this Q minus 1. Together you shift one bit right. And you, you, on shifting, one, once you do the shifting, you have to reduce the count. And when it becomes zero, you stop. Or else still that you check Q naught after shifting, again, the bit positions might have changed. So again, here you have to check Q naught and Q1, and then you carry on. So once it becomes zero, count becomes zero, you will have your answer in A and Q. Now we'll see the Woods algorithm with an example. Now, we'll see nine into minus three. So here you can see there is a negative number. So, but the dimension, if you see nine into three, it is 27. So when you substitute the, uh, we see uh, minus, it is plus into minus, we have minus. So minus 27 is the answer. Now, uh, nine, uh, nine is the multiplicand. So that we will place it in M. And Q is our multiplier. That is minus three. Okay, so now nine equivalent. Uh, first, we will see the uh, first. We initialize the registers. A is all zero because here we have five bits, so we'll initialize the five bits. And Q, you know, it is minus three. First, we write the plus three equivalent, which is nothing but zero 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 one one. And you find you have to find the two's complement, which will give you the negative number of three. So now minus three it will it will give minus three equal to to find the ones complement one 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 zero zero add one with it you will get this one 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 zero and zero this is one's complement when you add you get a two's complement 
which is nothing but angle this. Okay. So yeah, I'm sorry, not this. This value. This value. One 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 zero one. Now m is nothing but we have nine. It is zero one zero zero one. And we will be doing according to our algorithm. We will do this a minus m. A plus m we will do, but for a minus m we have to find two's complement. So we find the two's complement of m and keep it for further process. So here m bar plus m is our two's complement. M is zero one zero zero one. And when you find two's complement, what will happen? Here you have zero one. Zero, zero, one. Find the two's complement first. You have to find the one's complement. Okay, and adding one with it. So one, 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 zero, and one. Just nothing but our two's complement. So now after finding two's complement, you can just add this value with a in order to meet the result of a equal to a minus m. So that is our idea. Now. First, we have made the initialization count is five because the number of bits one, two, three, four, five. In Q is five. So multiplier, uh, what is the how many bits are in multiplier? That is what our count five. Now you check the value of Q zero. It is this and this Q minus one. So initial value we have made it as zero. So now it is one and zero. So when there is a one zero. What you will be doing? You do a equal to this is a minus m. This is what we have to do. Then it is one zero. So now what we do? Okay. Now what happens? A is this, and m is this. So what we have to do? Already we have found the subtraction. It is the two's complement. So now the next step is to add this and this. So after adding this and this, we will have this the value in a. And Q is this, and this is our Q minus one. Okay. Now what you do is next step we have to do an arithmetic shifting. So when you how you will be doing? See here, this has to be shifted. This Q zero is shifted to Q minus one, and this is shifted to zero one, 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 and then this one, and one, one, one. One and this one goes here as well as with this digit also. So that is why we have here one one zero one one. Okay. So now you reduce the count to four. Now again you check two zero and two minus one. This is zero one. When is there a zero one? You have to add with m, not with this. So add with m means this value will be added. So what is the value? Uh, Accumulate. There is a value which is one one, one one zero, one. So what is our m? It is zero, one zero zero and one. Now when you add, you get zero, zero, one, zero, zero and one. So now this is what this five digits. This carry is left. So zero zero one zero zero. Now, what is our Q? So you have to write the Q as it, uh, because here only we have made modification. So this and then you write as it. Now you have to do an along with this Q value, you have to do an arithmetic shift, right? So now here, now shift it one bit towards right. So here become zero like this. And then this and this will be written as the first. Bit. The first bit is again written as the MSB of the result. Then, since you have made one chip, you decrease the code. Now it becomes three. Then you check the value, the current q naught and q minus one. It is again one zero, which means you have to do an a equal to a minus b. So what you do, you have to add it. Already we have found the m uh, first complement of m. 
so that can be and that is of m so a is what this is for our uh, sorry this is for your a isn't it after shifting this is for the current position so 0 0 0 1 0 and then what is it in m so this since we have to do a minus m this has to be added to so complement of m now is 1 0 0 1 1 see here on 1 8 this is what and you write as the q assets because we have not do done any modifications in that so that copy this 1 0 now you have to do an arithmetic shift right so again this is written here like this this one comes here and this and it will be written here also msp so after shifting this is what our current value so it is done so you reduce the comp now it becomes 2 now you check this to 1 1 which means just shift right so that's what here also we do so This one is written here. This one, this one, zero, this, and here zero, and so on. Okay, sorry. This and then this goes here also. So after shifting, uh, the a and q and q minus one are like this. Now you check this. We I'll reduce the point. Now you check this. Both are one. So again, you just do the arithmetic shift right. So now again, and here, 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 this zero, this zero, and so on. Finally, it goes here, and here, here. Now you reduce this. Now it becomes zero. So you stop. Now, uh. When you see q minus one, if there is a zero, then you can say it is a positive number. When there is one, you can say it is a negative number. So you have to find the two's complement of this again. So write down this, and you can find two's complement. So this is equal to zero, 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 and then one, one, zero, one, zero. Now we will check. Uh, you can see you can have the value minus twenty seven. That is what is it is. And you have to add one with this. No, no, it is only one's complement. So you have to find the two's complement, which means when you add one, it becomes. One here. So two power one zero is. सिक्सटी So when you add all these things, you will get twenty seven. Okay, this is nothing but our minus twenty seven. So this is equivalent of this is a positive twenty seven. This I uh, I have written it to show you that uh, this gives a positive number. That is when you convert the point two's complement of this answer again, you will get a twenty seven. But when you find two's complement of this again, you will have Minus twenty seven, which is nothing but this. It is this value. 